proof that we're all ready to get outside. A little more activity on the bison farm here, just over your shoulder there. Keith. Yeah, they're just, uh, they do, it's that little baby one yeah, right there. Soaking up the um, sun. Yeah, all our cameras are active today. We had, mm -hmm. um, was that Moosehead where yeah. people were swimming? People in, stuff, in the water, so. the first one I saw this year. Yeah, of people actually, actually in there. In yeah. the water. I don't wonder what the <laughs> water temperature is there. I mean, it's a lake, so that helps you out, but. Um, but it's still, yeah. I know, it's refreshing. 80 to 85 <laughs> today, that's helping us out in a lot of spots too. Most of us are in that zone. Portland on the cool side at 78, 76 in Rockland, but a lot of low 80s. Comfortable, but just hot enough to make, you know, going in the water a little bit more enticing. You could see some clouds developing into the mountains. There are a couple of showers up there too, light stuff. Some clouds down across southern coastal Maine too. So collapsing into more cloudiness later this afternoon. And we discussed yesterday how today we'd have a better chance of a shower or thunderstorm. So you'll see that popping up over the next few hours. They just issued a severe thunderstorm watch down in Massachusetts. We don't have to worry about that, but there will be some pop up stuff going on. You can see just on the northern side there towards Greenville, there's a couple of sprinkles. So this model develops more of those over the next hour or two, and they'll be kind of isolated in the sense that there's not going to be a huge squall line coming through, but there will be uh, quite a few of them popping up later this afternoon. This is three o'clock this afternoon, then moving east by late afternoon, early evening. Could be one or two of these that have a flash flood warning on it, because remember, most of our soil is still quite saturated, especially into western Maine. And so any thunderstorm that gets in there starts dropping a half inch to an inch of rain, they're probably going to put a flash flood warning on it. Things settle down by tonight and we clear out temperatures in the mid 60s. Tomorrow is another nice summery day, 80 to 85, a much lower chance of showers. In fact, it's so low, I didn't even put it on the seven day forecast. I think most of us are dry through the day tomorrow and it gets more sticky. You'll start to notice that tomorrow midday through the afternoon it'll be 85 with the dew point of say 70 or so. So it starts to get really humid there. That humidity sticks into Thursday. Temperature profile probably in the mid 80s, but there's a little question about that depending on the amount of sun we can see. The thing I do want to talk about on Thursday is there's an early signal for some relatively significant severe weather for us. And obviously we'll have to drill down into the details when we get closer. But you see that squall line that just ripped through on this model. All the models have the right ingredients for some severe storms on Thursday. We don't often see that at this range in northern New England where it looks good to me. And so I think especially over southern Maine, New Hampshire, not only severe thunderstorms, but there's a little of what we call shear in the atmosphere being presented on Thursday, which means the potential for spin. So we'll have to keep an eye on it. It wouldn't totally shock me if we ended up in some sort of tornado watch on Thursday afternoon. It's a few days away, but we'll keep an eye on that. Just want to put it on your calendar, so to speak. We talked yesterday about what's going on on Saturday, and I was playing it pessimistic with the showers. Unfortunately, the showers stay in the forecast. The Euro still has pop up, uh, not even pop up, showers on Saturday afternoon into Saturday night. Sunday does look pretty good, so it's not a bad weekend, but I was hoping to be able to rid ourselves of that, but I had a feeling that playing it that way was the right way to go. Look at the comfy banners. Sunday, Monday, different air mass. You'll feel it wake up Sunday morning. It'll actually be nice on Sunday, but it will not be this kind of sticky stuff that we've grown accustomed to. And that's been the hallmark of the summer. Well, rain, but the other has been, it has been consistently very, very humid. Very humid. Um, there was a stretch where Portland was, I think it was 400 hours or more of a, of a high dew really point. Muggy. Yeah, yeah, so that'll continue in through late in the week. And we'll keep an eye on those storms on Thursday. You know me, I don't normally mention it, so. But it's there enough for yeah. you to, it's, as you it's said, put it on our calendar. We'll be aware. Yeah. All right, Keith, thanks.